Today we're going to be looking at some petty things people done after breakups. I'm literally obsessed with these people. The pettiest thing you've done after the end of a relationship. This may be my finest petty hour ever. So my ex-husband and I were splitting up because he was banging my best friend and I just disagreed with that life choice. Oh my god, so he was sleeping with your friend behind your back? That's probably one of the worst things like someone could ever do to you. Yet again, killing two birds with one stone, ruining the friendship and breaking up a relationship. I found three boxes of corn. You know, the kind of corn guy watch and read oh so not actual corn you eat you know like different type of corn you know the stuff you'd watch at like 2 a.m so i destroyed it all and then i was packing up the rest of his stuff and uh, i kept one of those boxes and i took every single wedding gift that his family had given us smashed it on the driveway put it in bags and put it in that box you know he never asked me what happened to the stuff that was originally in that box because then he would have to admit that it existed in the first place because there was a lot of it and it was creepy yeah it was super petty. Do you want to know something I'm actually with you and I hope you find a better husband? I feel so bad for these people because they really do fall in love with idiots, don't they? They seem like such sweet people as well. I mean, I've never been in a relationship. I don't know if I ever will. Maybe one day. If we ever break up, I'm sure you'll see me in one of these videos. So I caught my ex having a full-on party and lied to me and told me he was sitting alone watching TV, but I heard the TV say his name, right? Because <laughs> that happens. Oh my God, he really got caught out there. I'm watching TV right now and somebody that I'm watching in TV is the same me and they're like calling it out. It's, it's just that. Seems like type of excuse he'd make. So I went over there and caught him in the middle of this big party. So I may or may not have snuck in the back of the house during the party, taken his car keys, driven his little piece of sh stick shift car up the road just away like parked it in the middle of a kind of like little back road lot and then called the cops and told them there was an abandoned vehicle there you see his license plate weren't legal they were for a different vehicle and didn't match that car and they were expired so they impounded it oh my god damn so he's going from a party to a jail cell if he maybe told her like kind of for a party maybe she'd be fine with it i don't know their house rules but like at the end of the day don't lie about a party because like she's obviously gonna find out if you're having loads of people like your house partying like she's gonna find like sticky mess or like some sort of clue that there was a party why do they think they can get away with it and it costs more for him to get it out of impound than what he paid for the car and he never suspected me because he didn't think i could drive a stick shift so that was mine and you want to know something sunshine you go you he probably knows now that you've done it because you know you announced it on the internet but at the end of the day he shouldn't have lied to you so he got what he deserved when i was in college i got my heart absolutely shattered and that's why i didn't date whenever i was young so many of my friends were getting relationships and like they get heartbroken even now when i'm like 19 a lot of my friends are getting into relationships and they're just getting their heart shattered i don't think i'm like strong enough for that i'm definitely waiting until i'm at least like 21 where i actually like think of relationships that's why i happened to be a cowboy the jerks that i dated after that jerk were cowboys so you know what i said i'm done with cowboys but i'm not done with their clothes so i took all the collective trauma that they gave me bundled it up put it in a marketing scheme and that built my business which has now been running for four years i crop cowboy clothes and sell them do you want to know something that's actually quite good you know earlier in the video how people were like destroying stuff you know that's like good but like they could sue you for that do you want to cheat on she you know took their clothes cropped it technically that is destroying it but like she made it into a business and fair play she's successful so you know smart woman it's grown over the years and now i actually have two businesses in the western fashion industry all thanks to the boys who broke my heart not to sound too much taylor swifty but it's true it's crazy how like a door closing was another door open Man. Like if them boys never broke her heart, she wouldn't be in the position she's in. Because that heartbreak is not going to last forever. Believe me, you get over it. But you can build something off of it that does. So let your trauma work for you, girl. That's also a really good message that I tell my friends because I've got some friends who sometimes, you know, suffer from mental health issues. Whether they've got depression or if they're like feeling down. To feel sad, you have to feel happiness. You know, that's how it works. Because then you know the difference between them. So yeah, if you ever are feeling sad, just know, you know, you have to feel happy to feel sad and the sadness will go away eventually and who knows watching my videos can make you a bit happier so the pettiest thing that i've ever done was after i left my husband and keep in mind his name is patrick so i started putting his number in all the places i did it at work i put his number down i started writing it kind of like wherever and i said to call the crusty crowd so he'd add the answer no this is patrick He's gonna freak out because that's gonna really get to him. I was thinking she was maybe, you know, like putting his number around and saying ring this number for a good time. Now that is savage. I still have no regrets. I mean, to be fair, it's not that bad, but like it's funny. Like to me and you, 
that's funny, I get it. I unscrewed their shower head and put hard candies in it and screwed it back in. So every time they showered, they would get really sticky. And then the solution to not being sticky is to take a shower. They would take a shower and be even more sticky. So yeah, it's a never ending cycle. I also couldn't see that person I was thinking, am I literally looking at a dark screen? But like eventually like that's like not gonna work because like they'll eventually get like, you know, rotted away. I mean, if you wanna ruin their hair, they're now literally gonna have hair which is sticky. I caught my ex cheating of four and a half years his girl best friend which was engaged so what did i do i looked at him with pure disgust i didn't do anything violent but i grabbed the sharpest thing near me and i went full picasso on his car i was thinking for a split second that you were gonna go full castle on him yet again attacking the car like you need to be very careful because if you do that on purpose you can get in trouble with like the law unless you bought it i think yet again it's always the girl best friends like he's ruined his relationship and also her relationship because she's like engaged why did they do it did i mention that the sharpest thing near me was a fork yep i Fork. I mean, his cards could be covered in little holes, and let's hope he didn't call the police because that might leave a dent in your bank account. Question was made for me. The morning after my ex boyfriend came home with a bite mark on his lip, we'd gone to get some donuts, and I got some milk to wash it down. Why did he have a bite mark in his lips? I'm not much of a kisser, but if someone bit my lip, I'd look at them and think, What are you, a vampire? I'm sitting in his white BMW, which is his prized possession. I'm pretty sure he loved that car more than he's loved any woman in his entire life. He tells me he's been sleeping with someone else. I start crying hysterically and in the 10 seconds it took him to walk from the driver's side over to the passenger side i had used that as an opportunity to dump the rest of my whole milk under my seat in the passenger side of the car i knew you were gonna do it i just knew it i was waiting apparently he loves his car more than you well ruin it i mean don't ruin it because technically like that could be seen as an accident it's not like the other people were purposely destroying stuff you could say you were so distraught that you know you accidentally dropped the milk and it just like randomly went everywhere also milk stinks like if you've ever accidentally dropped milk it's smells so sore after like five minutes even after you've cleaned it so that is going to cause a lot of damage in his heart andrew if you're watching this the memory still brings me unbridled joy after all this time and if you're not andrew rate this on a scale of pure genius to wow that's up get some therapy in the comments below pure genius literally pure genius because like you can't really get arrested for doing it on purpose people drop stuff all the time and i'm telling you right now andrew probably doesn't care that he cheated on you and that you broke up but he'll care about the car he definitely cried himself to sleep when i moved out of the house we had shared together i stole every single cord i'm talking charging cord hdmi cords cables that connected game systems to the television every cord i took every single one that's the worst thing you could ever do to me i need my cords i mean i got you know cords for my computer getting the sd card off my camera my like macbook that is living hell for me and then to add to the inconvenience that i had created i also stole an entire jar of quarters this is important because we lived in the city and he needed quarters to do laundry is there not like contactless cards i don't carry a lot of cash around with me but that's also gonna like cause him a lot of chaos i mean he could probably you know replace that quite easily but i mean that cords that was savage and then for the grand finale i forwarded his mail to a random address i found online which i realized is illegal don't report me. I mean, don't worry about us reporting you. Worry about him reporting you. This is why you need to be careful about being petty. Be petty, but make it legal. Don't make it illegal. Don't destroy stuff and, like, do criminal damage. But if you are going to destroy something, maybe, you know, accidentally drop milk in their car. This was my early 20s. So I was dating this guy, and he was like, hey, your lease is up. Go ahead and move in, and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. I kind of had moved some stuff in, but I wasn't sure for sure. And he was like, oh, I have to go to Dallas. My ex-girlfriend is, they were together for a long time. My ex-girlfriend is, like, a drug addict. Her parents called. I gotta go. And I was like, all right, that's weird. And he was like, listen, I care about you so much. Stay in my house. I'll be back soon. He's letting you stay in his house, like, for free. Honey, you're getting free rent. 48 hours go by. Don't hear from the guy. So I'm like, mm -mm, no, sir. And so he calls, and I'm like, where are you? I thought you were, like, saving her from drugs. And he was like, oh, yeah, we came to Hooters. And I was like, you did what? We came to Hooters? I was like, are you joking? And he was like, no, I'll kind of a little bit. I was like, okay. What is Hooters? Is that, like, a restaurant? A lot of these videos are American. I'm assuming Hooters is, like, some sort of restaurant or, like, bar. But I mean, I thought he was going to, like, help his ex girlfriend. I bet you screwing her. He calls, he's like, Psst. Hey, listen, she's gonna come back with me, so can you go ahead and move all your stuff out? And whenever she's gone, you can move it back in. Wait, so he's bringing his ex-girlfriend back, and he wants his current girlfriend to, like, move her stuff out. So it means that whenever the ex-girlfriend comes back, nothing's there, and then whenever she leaves, she can move her stuff back in. I'm telling you, living with someone rent-free is too good. I, like, legit was like, are you serious? And he was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Okay, I may or may not have gotten all the chicken out, put it in different bowls, and put tuna juice on top of it, and let it rot underneath all of the beds in his house, because he had a big house. I took all the deer meat, like an entire freezer full. It fed like three families for like an entire year. I took all his pork, and I put it on top of this really expensive mat, and opened it, so that whenever it de-thawed, it just like... 
freaking ruined all of them. Oh my god, that is awful. That's savage. You put chicken under his bed covered in tuna. Nah, I'm sorry. This is why I'm happy that I'm gay. I could not mess with a girlfriend like that. I was dating this guy for like a month or two. I forget how long it actually was, but he ghosted me and then I Venmo requested him for wasting my time. He paid me $40. You got $40 for a guy wasting your time? Loads of people have wasted my time. Should I Venmo them? Should I cash up them? I should PayPal them. I mean, anything to get a bit of extra money. I was in college, so don't judge me. I was immature. And I took my ex's phone number and I made a Craigslist post of woman seeking man. And in the post I put, text me at this number a picture of your jamalama ding dong. And he got hundreds of texts. He called me crying. You know how the girl was telling us earlier about what was the phone number? How like, you know, the crusty crab thing. That's what I was talking about. You know, what you should do is like get his number, like put it somewhere and be like, ring me for, you know, uh -huh -huh, naughty stuff. And then he's going to get loads of messages like that. I mean, that is probably one of my favorite ones there. Anyways, guys, that was some people who were petty after a breakup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a person, subscribe and just I'll see you all in the next video.